Hey guys, Kelly Fab here, and today I'm going to be doing the Project Pan Community Tag. And this was the tag that was originally created by Angela from Beauty by Angela, and she is here on YouTube. I will link her channel and her intro or first video down below. And I actually got tagged here by Rachel Winters, so thank you so much, Rachel. And I am finally doing it. I know. This tag went up like a hot minute ago, but I still want to do it because it's still really interesting and really fun for me. So I am just going to get on started. And if you guys don't know what project panning is, I know a lot of like my friends at work and stuff are like, what the heck is project panning? Like you post stuff on your Instagram. I don't understand. Basically all it is, is panning or using up the items that you have. So if it's an eyeshadow, you want to hit that metal pan in the eyeshadow so you can actually see the metal part of it or the end start of the eyeshadow. And it's really, really fun to do. And I've been doing it now since I started my YouTube channel last year. And I just have a lot of fun with it. And it's such a great community. But anyways, I'm sure I'm going to answer a lot of different questions here in this tag. So let's just get on into it. You guys are wondering the lip color I have here it is always listed down below or I try to make sure and make it a point to list it down below but today I have the ColourPop ultra satin lip and this is in this shade London fog I'm not sure if this is a discontinued shade or not but it's definitely getting old and I can tell that I've used this quite a few times because there I had to like dig for product so yeah but this one is in my Lipstick Roulette, if you guys want to check that out, I can link that down below as well, but that is the color I have on my lips today, and I'm really enjoying it. I think it's a lot of fun, so. Anyways, let's get into it now, for real. So if you guys are wondering why I'm looking down, I'm actually looking on my phone, so I am just going to read the questions and then answer them. So the first question, I kind of answered it already. It says, how long have you been active in the panning community? I have been active in the panning community since... March, I think March was like my first video. And I think my very second video that I ever posted here on YouTube was a project pan video and that was my year long pan. I ended up doing a year long pan last year, which was not smart, was not smart at all. But in 2017 is when I started and I have still been active ever since I started. I've been loving it and enjoying it. So yes, 2017 beginning of. Question number two is what brought you to the decision to start panning? Um, I realized that I was purchasing a lot of items and I mean like a lot of things at once and I wasn't even getting the chance to use them before I purchased more. And that, when I get obsessive about something, that creates a problem and I've only been recently obsessive for the past like two or three years now with makeup and purchasing and wearing and buying and everything. I've always worn a little bit of makeup but never anything excessive and ever since getting into this beauty community I've been loving it and it feels so good and anyways to answer that question what brought me to this decision was looking at my collection and realizing how many items that I had that were brand new or items that I had just touched one or two times and I had just set it aside and let it float away and never be touched again. And I didn't like that. So I wanted to start panning items to actually use up the items that I had. So number three is a two part question. And the first part is what is your favorite pro product to pan? What is your favorite product to pan? And that for me is probably like creams, like moisturizers or lotions and stuff like that, or setting sprays. I can actually see visible progress in these type of items. And it's not like something like an eyeliner where it'll just like one day run out, like you won't have it anymore. You know what I mean? So you can actually see the visible progress in it. And that's what I really like about panning things. So I think that those would be my favorites. And then part two of this question is, what is your least favorite product to pan? And that would definitely be eyeshadows for me because on a daily basis, I definitely always wear moisturizer and I always do a setting spray on my face or like a facial mist on my face and stuff like that, but I don't always do eyeshadow. Eyeshadow is the one thing that I can neglect if I need to. If I don't have enough time, I'll just neglect the eyeshadow altogether and I'll just do my face makeup and be out the door. So therefore, panning eyeshadows has been really, really difficult on me. I did hit my first pan this year. 
on an eyeshadow that I was working on last year. So that was my very first eyeshadow I ever panned in my entire life. Didn't finish it up, but I did hit pan on it. I'm pretty proud. But other than that, I like to switch up my eyeshadows all the time. I don't like to use the same things, the same colors, the same shades, the same formulas. I don't like to use the same stuff over and over again. So I tend to switch it up a lot. So I have a really hard time panning eyeshadows in general. Question four is what projects are you currently working on? And right now I have my hashtag seven deadly sins. I have my sample project pan. I have my... Drop 10 by summer. I'm gonna be starting a new one very soon. Hopefully this goes up before I start that one, but I have a collab project pan going on with a couple of lovely ladies here on YouTube. So hopefully that'll be posted after this video. And if not, then I'll post it down below, but I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna tell you yet, it's a surprise. Um, and then I have a few others coming up here very soon to get started on, but those are the only ones I have currently right now, and I'm actually kind of happy that I'm only doing a few. My sample project pan is my year-long project. I'm trying to get rid of all of my samples that I had old and then start putting in the new ones once I'm finished with all those. And then my Drop 10 by Summer is a huge collab with the Fantastic Ladies on Facebook. I can link their link down below in the description box also. And then my 7 Deadly Sins or hashtag 7 Deadly Pans project pan is one that I've been doing since January. And it's going pretty well, but I'm kind of bored with it now. You know what I mean? Like, it's almost like doing a 6 month or a 7 month pan is just too long for me because it's too long to get bored of the products and I like I said I like to switch things up too much and I've been getting bored of those products so anyways those are the only project pans I have going on right now at this moment in time number five is also a two-part question and the first part is what is your favorite current project I think my favorite project right now is the drop 10 by summer because there's so many people doing it and I'm also trying to lose weight in it and stuff like that but then again I really like my sample project pan. So I'm having, I don't know, I guess my drop time by somewhere because my sample project pan is a year long project, but I think that one's the best one because there's so many people involved in it. So it's really fun watching everybody else's videos as well. So I think I'll say the drop time by summer. Part B is what is your least favorite current project? I kind of already mentioned that, that I'm kind of sick of the hashtag seven deadly pans project pan and that is done in July. So I plan on finishing that out until July just because I have a few product, products that I really want to finish in that project pan, but that is my least favorite one right now. Number six, who is your biggest inspiration in the panning community? Um, honestly, I don't have like a single person that I really look to for panning items, to be completely honest. I just watch a ton of different people. Like, I mean a ton. Like, I watch Love Heatherette or Heather and Courtney K and I watch a beauty guru made me do it that's Paula and um, Rachel from w Rachel Winters and I, I mean there's so many other people I can't even think of them right now I'll have to list a few people down in the description box but there are so many people that I watch um, panning and stuff I think her name is I don't know and then there's tons of people on Instagram too so there I wouldn't say that there's like one specific person that I watch to inspire me but I think everybody as a community inspires me in general number seven is what support systems do you use for panning as you guys know I watch YouTube and I film YouTube so definitely YouTube definitely Instagram I don't really go on Facebook ever I don't really do snapchat or Twitter ever I'm just it's not my style. I like Instagram because it's so positive and uplifting. And then I like YouTube just because I can pick and choose what videos I wanna watch. And if I watch somebody that I don't like, well, I don't have to watch them anymore. It's that simple. So I would say just Instagram and YouTube would be like my biggest support systems. And just like being able to message people back and forth on Instagram and um, YouTube, that's really helped me a lot too. Number eight, what has been your proudest moment with panning? I don't really know. I think I did a really good job in my um, 12 days of Christmas, I think it was called, project pan where you had like 12 different items and you had to finish them within two months. I think I did really, really good in that project pan, but I'm really happy. Like I said, I hit pan on a shadow and it was from my Beauty Wishes and Sweet Kisses palette. It was the darker shade. I was so happy when I hit that. And of course I hit it off camera 
of course. Not that I really do my makeup on camera anyways, but it would have been really nice. But I did do an Instagram post about hitting pan on that shadow and I was pretty proud of it. So I would say probably that hitting the eyeshadow pan. Yeah, I guess so. Number nine, what is your biggest panning goal for 2018? I would say I want to use up two foundations this year, whether they be BB creams, CC creams, or just powder foundations or liquid foundations, it doesn't matter. I want to use up two of them completely. I am really bad about buying a foundation, using it for two months, and then just like setting it aside, as with a lot of other items in my, pro in my uh, life. And also, I would say... Another big panning goal is during my lipstick roulette, I have been putting aside lipsticks that I want to use up this year that are ones that are either really old and need to get used up or ones that are drying out because they're a liquid formula or whatever the case may be. I would say that that would be a big panning goal for me, even though I'm not putting them in Project Pan necessarily. I do have one in my Drop 10 by Summer, but I'm not necessarily putting them into Project Pans. I just wanna get them used up because I don't wanna waste them. I've paid money, I've paid money for everything. I don't get PR and using them up would be really really a great goal for me and it would be amazing to have like five or six full-size lipsticks gone this year i don't use up lipstick very quickly because once again i work at a hospital i can't really wear lipstick that often and also i just i like switching it up so i don't tend to wear the same color over and over again so there's that. Number 10, what is the best advice for new project panners? I would say start small. Don't start with a year-long pan. That is a terrible idea. That's exactly what I did and it got me so uninspired, so just unmotivated and just ugh. Also, when you're panning products, don't only pan products that you hate just to get rid of them. Also, do a mix of things that you like you're trying to decide on and things that you just want to use up just for the sake of using them up. I would say having that mix makes it so much easier to use products and to actually enjoy your stash of items and so that you don't feel like you're wasting your time when you're doing your makeup or you're doing your skincare or whatever routine that you're doing because then you're actually enjoying some of that routine as well as trying to use up some of the products that you have. So I would suggest shorter project pans, maybe three to six months. Um, like I said, my seven month one is kind of long for me right now, even though I only got myself involved for six months it's still been quite long for me. So I think I'm really liking these three month project pans right now. And also don't put so much pressure on yourself to actually use the item. If you don't like an item that you put in your project pan, you guys have seen me. I've switched out items in project pans because I don't like that item. I was trying to decide on it like the infatuation blush from Makeup Geek. It's a beautiful blush. It really is. It just didn't work for me. It wasn't good for my skin color. I didn't like the pigmentation. Didn't like how it went on my skin. I just didn't like it for me. I'm sure one of my girlfriends, would, would whichever one ended up taking that blush, loves it. But the problem is, is that if you keep things in your project pan that you hate, that you know you don't wanna use, and you're gonna wanna reach for something else every single day, then what's the point of having it in your project pan? And what's the point of trying to use it if you hate it? Why? That's why I've been decluttering as I go, because there's no point of trying to use stuff that I hate. Just saying. So shorter project pans and just being able to be flexible with your project pans and switch things out when you feel like you need to. Okay, lovely ladies. So that was all I had for you today. That was the project pan community tag or panning community tag. I will get the name right in the title. I hope you guys learned a little bit about what project panning is and why I do it. And you know, just if you're doing it as well, just enjoy it. You know, why not? Just do it, enjoy it, and if you don't like it, guess what? No one's forcing you to finish. You can stop at any time, it's okay. Anyways, so I hope you guys have a wonderful day or night wherever you are, and I will see you in the next one. Bye.